Evernote is one of those amazing apps that has stood the test of the time. With all the new apps that flood the marketplace on a daily basis, I'm so glad that the Evernote team has been able to keep up with the changes and continue to improve the functionality of Evernote. I have done many videos on Evernote, a few tutorials, as well as some tips and tricks that talk about my workflow setup. I will leave a link of Evernote playlist in the description section below. One of the questions I get asked most of the time when it comes to productivity is how I use Evernote in my business and personal life. As an avid Evernote user since 2009, today I'm going to go over three creative ways the new Evernote can be used and do check out till the end of this video how I have customized the Evernote home to skyrocket my productivity. Let's get it started. I want to show you the header updating option and the styling your notes that could improve your productivity. I would like to bring to your attention to the purple text and the blue text. So I've set the purple text to be a large header and the blue text to be small header. Let's say that we want to change all of the large headers so they can match in their formatting. All I have to do is to select the text, change the color. Let's say we want to make it green and we want to change the font to script. Now you can still see that it's still like that. So we can just go ahead and update large header to match just like this. All of the large headers are now changed. Also, we can do the same for the small headers. Likewise, we can turn it into, let's say, a red color and we can change it also to monospace. And this time I'll go ahead and update a small header to match. So now all of the small headers are read with the new font. So you see how fast and easy it is. And this feature from Evernote can save you a lot of time. Another example is that I would like to show you is that let's say we are at the bottom of the text. We are going to create a new header. All we have to do is to go over there, select large header, and then start typing again, like Evernote business working remotely and it picks up the updated header font as well as the color. Let's check out how the drag and drop function works with Gmail as well as Outlook. I have Evernote and Gmail open side by side. I want to send a link to one of my notes to one of my recipients. I can select the note from my Evernote, drag it and drop into my Gmail. It's that easy. A link will get created do remember that the recipient should have the permissions to access this node as well as they need to have an Evernote account. Let's try once again. And this time I will do a quick search, find a node and drag and drop. You can do exactly the same things with your Outlook email also. Like this. One of the new ways I have started using the new Evernote home is to customize it based on my needs. I will share a few ideas here that might skyrocket your productivity. So folks, you are looking at my Evernote home. See my pin note where I have my useful links that I can access from my dashboard itself. Now I can go straight to my useful sites and notes directly from here without swapping to my browser or even notes. For instance, I can go to my preferred news website like this, my YouTube channel by using this link, or even to one of my notes, Google task notes, for instance, just by the click of a mouse button. So let me give you a quick tutorial to create this kind of dashboard in a few simple steps. I will open a new note and let me title it as my home this time. Now I will start typing the URL address or addresses, if you remember, or just copy and paste it. Let me try weather.com 
And this creates a link for me to go to the website directly from here, like this. Similarly, you can create as many links that you use on a daily basis. Like, I have a note, YouTube ideas. I will go to the note, copy the link for the note. Now go back to my note, my home, press command K on Mac, enter the URL address, click enter, and there you have it, like this. Now let me make it more attractive and insert a picture over here. I will use the plus icon on the left top corner, select a photo and insert the picture I have saved and I get my desired picture like this. Now let's spin this note like this. And finally, let's go back to home and there you have all the useful links at your fingertips. So folks, you can use this as your dashboard. Start creating multiple links like this and boost your productivity. I hope you enjoyed these tips on Evernote. Start using them and feel free to leave your comments below. That's all for today and thank you all so much for watching. Let us know how you feel about these Evernote tips which I have provided today. If you like this video, make sure you press that like button, hit subscribe if you're new to Next Gen Digital, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a productive week.